<coughs> hey you guys, Bailey, Bailey R here. Wait, hold on a sec. Sorry. Anyway, um, I'm here to do my first album review of 2016. Excuse me. And I'm going to be reviewing um, the debut album by uh, the band called Shadow of Intent. Now, if you don't know who Shadow of Intent is, which probably most of you don't because they're not well known, um, they are a melodic death metal and a deathcore band from Connecticut and Rhode Island. But yeah, they're from Connecticut and Rhode Island. It's a two-man band. Um, and like I said, they're melodic death metal and deathcore. And they're a band that has lyrical themes that... I don't know any other metal band that has these type of themes. Their lyrical themes are based off of the Halo series. Yeah, the Halo video game series. Which... As soon as I saw that, I thought it was so awesome, because I love Halo. And, um, just by the album cover alone and some of the song titles, and of course, definitely the lyrics, after I uh, read a lot of the lyrics, I can see, yeah, they're definitely related to Halo. But anyway, I'm here to, and their album is called Primordial. The album is, um, <clears throat> ten tracks, it clocks in at 52 and a half minutes, and it just came out yesterday. Um, so yeah, and they released it independently. Now, I first discovered this band, I think a couple of months ago. Um, and I was just randomly scrolling through YouTube. I saw the, the, uh, the, uh, album cover for their new album that just came out yesterday, like I said. And it really caught my eye, and I checked it out, and I liked it. And so yeah. Now, um, on this album, um, uh, the, mo the more melodic death metal side of uh, Shadow of Intent is uh, kind of like how, um, you know, the guitar solos and uh, some of the riffage is more melodic, you know, in that kind of style. And then you have the deathcore side of them, which is the, the chugs, because like, uh, they do, uh, they do, do uh, some chugs sometimes on these songs. Which, um, I didn't think, uh, got too annoying, it's just, I don't know, I, I just think, to me, I think they're actually, I like their Malag death metal side a little better, but their deathcore side isn't too bad either, in my honest opinion. <clears throat> and, uh, the first track is called The Prelude to Bereavement, Bereavement, um, sorry guys, I'm bad at pronouncing words, but... Yeah, this album kicks off with a bang. Um, I just really love the uh, more deathcore type vocals. Like the vocals on here are more kind of like deathcore vocals. So that's so that's the more deathcore side of them too as well. And I just thought they were uh, really. I just thought they were really well done. And yeah. Um. <clears throat> uh, now. Now, uh, one of the few complaints I probably do have about this album is that, uh, like I said, even though they are classified as deathcore, and, um, it's just, I don't know, uh, I feel like sometimes when they were doing, uh, a lot of chugs, like, I don't know, like, when first they were, like, all melodic, and then they were doing the more deathcore side, I thought the chugs kind of sometimes, and at least to me, felt a little bit misplaced, but that's like a very minor, um, complaint. <clears throat> and also, on a couple of the songs, um, especially, uh, especially on the song, I believe, The Twin Revelation, and I think also The Battle of the Magonaut Sphere, which are the seventh and eighth tracks, um, on a couple of the last songs on the album, there are actually some cleans on here. Yeah, there was actually some clean vocals on uh, a couple of these songs towards the end of the album. Or maybe even like three, but yeah. And I, and you, you guys know how, and so like that's an, another more melodic death metal type here. 
Um, because melodic death, there is a lot of melodic death metal that does use cleans, and sometimes, um, I don't know, with deathcore, it's not that I hate cleans in deathcore. Sometimes I think it doesn't really fit. Um, like with a band like um, uh, I wrestled the bear once, even though I like the vocalist, even though I'm who I'm not a big fan of that band at all, but. Even though I like her clean vocals better, sometimes just, I don't know, the way they use it, I don't like it. And some other deathcore bands. But the couple of songs that they did use the cleans on here, to be honest, added to the songs. And it added to the overall kind of spacey atmosphere they have on this album. <coughs> Excuse me. And the, um, and, you know, the, the rivage on here for the most part. Um, is they can be very melodic, so can the solos, and then you got the deathcore type riffs, and the the songwriting on here I think is done pretty well. And like I said, the lyrics are based off the Halo series, and when I read the lyrics, I could definitely see how, and it actually brought back some good memories to be honest. Because like I said, I love Halo. I grew up with Halo. Um, is possibly maybe my favorite video game series ever. But yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Um. And like I said, this album is kind of long. It's 52 and a half minutes. I don't think it really overstays its welcome, though. Because sometimes when albums are over 50 minutes or even an hour, sometimes they can overstay their welcome. But to to me, this album didn't. Oh, and also. They also have another. They also have an EP out that they released in 2014 called a uh, Inferi Sententia. It's basically a uh, five songs. Yeah, it's uh, the first five songs that they released, and those five songs are also on this album on their debut full length. So yeah, guys, uh, that's my review. So again, the the band is called Shadow of Intent, and the debut album is called Primordial. Just uh, check them out, uh, type their name on YouTube, and you should find their YouTube channel. And they've uploaded the entire album on YouTube, so the entire album is streaming on YouTube. So yeah, go give these guys some love. They definitely need the recognition. Alright guys, uh, for a score, I'm probably going to give this album a straight up, like, uh... Probably a straight up... Uh... Probably about strip 7.58 out of 10. Probably about straight up 8 out of 10. I was going to give it a 7.5, but after I listened to it a little bit more, I just had to give it an 8. So yeah, about a straight up 8 out of 10. So yeah, pretty good album, and I think a pretty good debut by these guys. Alright guys, so that's my review. Uh, if you do happen to check out this album, Tell me what you think about it in the comments down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, tell me what you liked about it. Tell me what you didn't like about it. So, yeah, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you later. Keep it metal. And see you next time.